We're almost out of the pandemic, fingers crossed. Um, so I just wanted to get a bit of an update from David Waghorn about Herco and what you've been up to over the past few months. Yeah, we've been quite busy, to be honest. Um, January felt like a disaster when the new lockdown started. Um, it felt like the world was going to end. But as soon as people got used to it and we kind of had some dates in mind, really from the middle of February, we saw quite a pickup in business. Um, and that continued through sort of March and April. Um, I'd say the initial sort of what you call um, vaccine excitement probably dropped a little bit and there was, there was a little bit of a backup of orders as well. But things are still relatively good as we go into the summer. We're, we're pretty optimistic. Are you seeing any trends or anything or any industries that you're picking up on that are doing well that weren't or anything like that? Um, I'd probably say the aerospace automotive sectors still are a little bit down. Um, where, we've, where we've seen companies do really well are the general subcontract engineers, mm. um, people making stuff for medical, oil and gas seems to have picked up quite a lot recently. But anyone, certainly your typical Herco customer is making little bits of widget for absolutely anything. And those customers seem to be doing very well. We have actually been out to a few of your customers and they have raved about your machines. Is there anything exciting in the mix, any news that we could maybe find out about? Um, I say, I know you've got a couple more nice videos of, of happy <laughs> customers, which is, which is always a, a pleasure for us. Um, yeah, actually, it's, we, we've had a turnover of all our demo machines and uh, we'll be inviting you back as soon as we've, um, we've basically placing all new machines into our demo area. And there are a couple of machines, a, a brand new first time. Uh, there's a new VM1, um, there's a BX60 as well, which is the biggest of our high speed machines. Um, so there's quite a few things to see. We're, all, we're also doing um, two or three automation options as well. So I think we'll be getting MTD back as soon as it's all up and running and ready. Exciting. Now, yeah. just from your perspective, what do you think about events and um, open houses and everything for that for the future? Are you hopeful? We're optimistic. I think um, Southern Manufacturing is happening in um, October and we plan to attend that. Um, we'd like to do an open house in the autumn if that's possible. Um, that's probably the first target. Obviously, Mac next year should be a normal Mac, and we're, we're, all, we're all looking forward to that as well. Well, fingers crossed we are over the worst of it. And I hear you're investing in people too. Yeah, we've started to get proper busy again now through the summer. So we've employed two additional service engineers, and we're also in the process of training two new Irish engineers at Herco. So it's, um, yeah, service department's been very busy and we're, we, we've employed some good young guys as well, so we're hoping to get better set up for the future. It all feels a little bit more normal now, doesn't it, David? Yes, I think by the end of the year, when we look at our numbers, at, uh, when the year's finished, um, we'll feel like 2021 was, was a proper normal year.